I may be a Tesla fan and a Tesla investor, but this EV has my heart. And the company that makes this, let's call it a unique EV, has been making some really big brain moves lately. We all know that when it comes to EV charging networks, Tesla reigns supreme. From reliability to ease of use and everything in between, Tesla has the recipe down. If you read or watch basically any review for an EV, if it's a Tesla, one of the biggest pros is the access to the supercharger network. And if it's not a Tesla, one of its biggest cons is that it doesn't have access to Tesla's supercharger network. But that's all about to change because the people over at Aptera are making a really big brain move and well, just check out this clip. This handle does 250 kilowatts of charging and you plug it in just like that. There have been rumors going around that Aptera was going to adopt Tesla's charging port for years now, but nobody knew if it was actually going to come true. Then in December, 2020, they released a video of a prototype car and we couldn't tell exactly, but the charge port looked like a Tesla. And Aptera hasn't exactly been secretive about liking Tesla's charging system either. Earlier this year, they began pressuring the US government to adopt Tesla's charging technology as the standard for all EVs. I actually signed the petition because I think Aptera is totally right. We need a universal charging connector and Tesla's is the best one. According to Tesla, their charger can charge up to one megawatt, has no moving parts, is half the size and twice as powerful as the second most popular connector, CCS, or combined charging system connectors. And in all fairness, today in the US, Tesla's connector outnumbers CCS two to one, so it's more than just popular, at least in the US. And in Tesla's press release about a month ago, they said, we look forward to future electric vehicles incorporating the NACS, which is Tesla's design, and charging at Tesla's North American supercharging and destination charging networks. And there you have it. This means in theory, if Aptera uses Tesla's charge connector with their standards, they can have access not only to Tesla's destination chargers, but also to Tesla's coveted supercharger network, which if Aptera can have their vehicles connect, pay and charge as seamlessly as Tesla's doing, that would be absolutely huge for this small startup company to be able to have access to basically all the charging options out there as long as you have an adapter for the CCS. And if they're able to pull that off, I wanna buy one. I mean, I wanna buy one already, but I really can't justify it because I don't drive very much. But if you wanna buy one, be sure to use my referral link down below for 30% off the reservation fee. Full transparency, if 26 of you buy an Aptera with that code, Aptera will ship me one and fuller transparency, this is my new goal. I wanna see if this community that we've made can muster up 26 pre-orders for this amazing company, partly because I think it's an awesome car, but then even more because I fully believe in this company and their mission, which is putting first engineering principles at the core of solving the transportation problem and giving customers the ability to actually repair the cars that they buy. I believe in their mission so much that I invested with them. I gotta put my money where my mouth is. I think this is the type of company we should all be rooting for and trying to help as much as possible because they genuinely care about their mission and it shows. Let me give you three big examples. Number one, they say they wanna reduce waste and they actually follow through with it when you look at their right to repair policy. They've committed to shipping customers the parts they need to fix things and because parts can't fix themselves, they've also included scannable QR codes on the car parts themselves, which will link to repair documents and video guides. If you're a Tesla nerd like me, you've probably seen the channel Rich Rebuilds, and if you haven't, check him out, he's hilarious. But one of the takeaways from that channel is that Tesla can be notoriously difficult to get parts from, and what that leads to is more Teslas being totaled simply because repairs can be expensive and extra hard to get parts for. Rich Rebuilds does some crazy shit to get genuine Tesla parts, and lots of the times he scraps them from dead Teslas because he can't get Tesla to send him the parts or the repair guides that he needs to fix the car. This is in direct contrast to Aptera's approach. And the bottom line is, when it comes to doing what's best for the planet, it's almost always better to fix a thing you already have versus buying a new one. Number two, they are hyper-focused, and I mean hyper-focused on efficiency. Right now, the longest range Tesla you can buy is the Model S with a range of just over 400 miles. I think it's 405. Now, that's an insanely good range, and it's way more than most people need, but it comes in around 100 grand. 
Lucid Motors Lucid Air Dream Edition can top that at 520 miles of range, but that car comes in at 170 grand. Aptera, on the other hand, their longest range option can hit 1,000 miles of range on a single charge. But even better than that, you can get that range with a starting price of only around 45 grand. Not only is that range kind of nutty, like probably nobody needs that, but that's a price that's about in line with the average new car price these days. Now, to be totally fair, the Model S and Lucid Air are completely different cars than the Aptera. They have better performance, four wheels, and probably most important to a lot of people, they can seat five people, whereas the Aptera can only seat two. It's not exactly an apples to apples comparison, and that's not what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to say is that Aptera is offering something that currently nobody else is offering. Are there compromises? Yeah, there are, of course. But as someone who wants to buy an EV someday soon, I'd rather have more choices on the market. And for me personally, I like the Aptera. This is not to say it's for everyone, it's probably not even for most people, but making a hyper-efficient vehicle like this one opens up the door to keep innovating and keep creating, and that's only going to be a good thing. Number three, speaking of efficiency, because they made the car so damn efficient, solar panels actually make sense. If you get the maxed out solar version, you can add up to 40 miles of extra range per day just from the panels. Meaning for the average American who drives around 30 miles a day, you would never, and I actually mean never, have to plug in your car. And that's just something that's almost hard for my brain to compute how cool that is. So is Aptera the end all be all EV? No, they're not, but they're not trying to be. They're more for the nerds like me who are really into this sort of thing. Right now, what they're doing is creating the most efficient vehicle they can, and they're trying to produce it at scale. That's something that nobody else is doing. Not Tesla, not Rivian, not Lucid, nobody. And if this is something we wanna see in the world, we need to support it. So if you're interested, check out my referral link down below to get more information or to get a discount on your pre-order. And if I actually do end up getting one of these because you guys are using my referral link, I'm gonna review the shit out of this thing. I mean, that would be beyond exciting. I almost can't imagine how cool that would be. As always, huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. They're the reason I can keep making videos like this. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. If you love the video, think about tossing some support my way on Patreon or ordering an Aptera with the referral link, uh, but only do it if you have spare income, if you don't keep the money for yourself. Also, if you find an article that's pushing an agenda or spreading misinformation or just has some cool tech in it, send it my way. My info, like always, is down below. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. See you all in the next one. I say video, 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 I don't know.